Hi, I'm Judd from the Gaithersburg Book Festival, and I'm here with a terrific new author, Ellen O. Ellen, we're talking about your novel, Prophecy. You set the story in ancient Korea. Why this setting? Okay, so to make a long story short, it was in 2000 when Time Magazine named Genghis Khan Man of the Millennium. And I was so, really, so kind of shocked and surprised to find an Asian man on such a prestigious position, Man of the Millennium, uh, that I immediately went and bought all these biographies and read all these books about um, the Mongolian invasion. And what I found during that process was all this history about ancient Asia and specifically about ancient Korea that I had never learned. And it was fascinating. And the more I researched it, the more I realized, hey, this would be a great book. And that's how Prophecy came about. So did you incorporate real events from Korean history in, in the setting of the book? I did. I incorporated uh, historical uh, uh, parts. For example, the seven kingdoms of my book are based on three real kingdoms of ancient Korea plus four city-states. And I also included uh, legends and historical uh, uh, facts. For example, during uh, the Tang invasion, 3,000 court ladies jumped to their deaths from the uh, um, Pekche royal court because they would prefer to uh, die than be subjugated to uh, being uh, uh, invaded by the Shilla and the Tang who had united to invade that kingdom. And I remember the imagery of that. It's called Rock of the Falling Flowers because they're beautiful hanboks, which come in all these pastel colors. And they're bright and vivid. Uh, as they jumped, they looked like falling flowers. And because of that, I, I always had that image in my head, and I wanted to incorporate that. So things like that went into my book. That's fascinating. Now, Prophecy features a female protagonist, a female hero. Why so? I consider myself a very strong feminist. I've always been about girl power. Plus, I have three daughters. So to me, a strong girl hero is very important because I want this world to be one where boys don't consider girls the weaker sex anymore because girls are strong. Girls are creative and smart and they can do anything they put their minds to it. I think that girls, they have to believe in their own strength and part of that is seeing more heroes in literature for kids and for adults, uh, but particularly for kids. It's important to have role models and girl heroes, even superheroes.